Montezuma is part of a vast holding basin. Thousands upon thousands of acres of cattail, bulrush, buttonbush, and other emergent vegetation. This marsh is a massive engine, pulsing with energy from the sun, captured and stored in a huge biomass of plant material. Many wetland plants are more efficient producers than non-wetland plants. Fast-growing emergent plants like these convert energy from the sun at a rate that generates more biomass per hour than non-wetland plants exposed to the same amount of sunlight. They grow faster and retain more energy. When the season-long buildup of leaves, stems, seeds, and root material falls away at the onset of winter, migrating ducks and other waterfowl move in to forage, transforming this stored energy to their own use for the long, exhausting migration soon to come. Periodic flooding of the marsh brings in a constant supply of nutrients. And the continual presence of water keeps conditions ideal for microorganisms that break down organic materials. In fact, wetlands are natural sewage treatment plants. Biologists estimate that just 16 acres of marsh like this can filter completely all the daily organic sewage generated by 10,000 human beings. As winter comes on, this powerful engine continues to run in root systems buried under ice and snow. These plants are not dead. They are in a particular phase of a dynamic life cycle in transition between the last growing season and the next. Plants that sprout from such root systems year after year are called perennials. This vegetation undergoes chemical changes that cause leaves, stems, and other components to wither and drop away, while the root system, still very much alive, drifts into dormancy. As cold weather nears, Marsh residents that cannot take wing prepare to hibernate in burrows, lodges, and the muddy substrate below the water's surface. This muskrat is preparing for winter, dragging cattails and other marshland material into a pile that will serve as a shelter from ice and wind in the days ahead. While the muskrat works on, a great blue heron perches on a nearby mound. As warm weather wanes, sunlight, no longer filtered through the gauzy haze of summer humidity, streams in at a lower angle, lengthening shadows and sharpening the contrast of autumn's brilliant color. Montezuma's main pool is a reflection of the cobalt blue November sky. Most birds travel south with a retreating sun to wetlands where forage is still plentiful in winter. Here in the arid southwest, winter is a rainy season that brings moisture to parched arroyos and desert washes. When the water is flowing, even out of sight beneath the dry surface. There is suitable habitat for many birds that will return to northern wetlands in spring. Oak Creek in Arizona's Red Rock Canyon region is a perennial stream that flows year-round. 
In early January, mallards and common mergansers bide their time while winter storms rage in their northern breeding grounds. Farther south, amid the giant saguaro cactus of the Sonoran Desert, scrubby stream beds ring with the chatter of songbirds in midwinter. This ecosystem, hot and dry most of the year, receives intermittent rain in winter that spawns insects and leaves pools of standing water attracting birds and other wildlife. These riparian areas are yet another wetland ecosystem that is critical to the survival of migrating birds. In April, this desert wash explodes in color as moisture from winter rains waters plants and trees along its borders. <laughs> 